Um, so Pisces, you do have the Four of Pentacles. You are holding on to something, to somebody, to someone. And you do have the Sun. Might be a child, but it's a love reading. Maybe a Leo you're holding on to quite tightly. And we don't want to let them go. We are a little bit maybe unhappy about the situation. And we do have the Chariot Cancer Energy. This is success and moving forward, right? And you, uh, this is holding on to the hope that this can be successful. Maybe you want to move on with something also. And the Hierophant in Reverse. Well, well, well. We want to also come out of a commitment. The Hierophant in Reverse. Well, this is also the energy of somebody being different from you. Uh, Pisces, maybe you are dealing with somebody, um, you know, uh, from a different, um, you know, ethnic background. They might have a different skin color, that kind of energy, culture, religion, you know. And we do have the Fool in Reverse. We don't want a new beginning. We are holding on to this. The fully in reverse, we know, right? It's about it's about new beginnings, but actually we don't. And the Six of Cups, oh, they are your soulmate, Pisces. Whoever this person is, oh, and Ten of Swords. The soulmate card and then the betrayal card. You know, when we know better, we do better. When we don't know they are our soulmate, well, then we make mistakes. So that's what they did, probably. They've made mistakes. Four of Pentacles in the Fool. Now the Fool is upright. Somebody wants a second chance, a leap of faith, to start new, have a clean slate with you, that kind of energy. <clears throat> so let's see the bottom of the deck for the overall energy. At this time, we miss somebody, Pisces. Five of Cups, I miss you like crazy, right? That's the energy. Of course, it is mourning the loss of somebody, yearning for somebody. It's a sense of regret and guilt for having done something. And the Three of Swords, it is in reverse. And the Ace of Pentacles in reverse. And the Ace of Swords. I mean, the universe cannot be more clear than this. We do have the Queen of Wands and the uh, Page of Pentacles. If the energies come back again, we know are yours but uh well we do have regrets and and guilt and feeling responsible somehow for a heartbreak a rejection and now the clarity that comes with it right ace of swords now we know better this is the idea this is um i'm smart now i have a plan right and we'll see what this is all about they might feel very bad for rejecting your pisces that's the energy here might be you feeling bad for rejecting someone and finally you have this clarity of the mind uh, or this person of yours has really like an epiphany of some sort ace of swords is like really knowing and cutting everything else that's confusing and going straight to the point so so let's see, Pisces, past energies on your side, the person you are dealing with, and mutual energies. Let's have the current energies on your side, the person you are dealing with, and mutual energies, and let's have the possible outcome. On your side, the person you are dealing with, and mutual energies. Bottom of the deck, six of pentacles in reverse, but working on our balance. Somebody is working on a new beginning here. Might be you, might be the person you are dealing with. We have a leap of faith with the Eight of Pentacles, Six of Pentacles. Something is out of balance, but we are kind of making the effort to, to bring a new opportunity there. So let's see. Pisces in the past on your side. Uh, we do have the Six of Pentacles. This is the energy of balance of reciprocation. So probably you brought to the table exactly what they did. And then we have the the, uh, the Wheel of Fortune in reverse. So it's kind of like the universe stopped, right? Um, it's the energy of things got stuck in a way that we, um, you know, we are no longer in that kind of happiness and in that kind of balance. Um, it's energy also being hooked. I don't know who this applies to and who this and who's resonating with this. But this is the energy of, like, you know, really um, getting to a point where we get stuck to somebody because they bring us a sense of balance and a sense of um, justice and fairness in a way with the six of pentacles so um but if we go back to the basics like the wheel of fortune you know it was your luck it was your luck it was a lucky time a lucky moment it was everything was going in your favor and then you know the universe decided to take a break 
now the person you are dealing with <laughs> oh maybe you were um their um trophy wife <laughs> that's the energy six of wands right the energy of pride the energy of success the energy of being acknowledged look at me and then we have the energy of the four of cups right they were not paying attention they were proud they were showing you this is the energy of a show off um pisces so maybe this person of yours they were actually quite content right and in some way that is an energy of mirroring here we have the six of pentacles the six and six so six is a, the uh, harmonious number but i'm sensing two complete um different energies right on your side highly practical and based on harmony and 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 fairness and um you know something that uh, would bring some sense of home um and roots and stability and harmony again while this person was um maybe coming from a place of ego from a place of pride from a place of um you know look who's at my arms right that that is the six of ones look at me 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 you know in this connection in particular and then the four of cups happened so this is an energy of not paying attention being distracted being bored discontent kind of energy and then we got to this place and this place is four of swords i'm going to go and slip downstairs uh that's a four of swords the energy of um you know uh, distance emotional distance the energy of um using the mind instead of the emotion uh, or in all the emotions and the love and we got to the ace of wands in reverse a wand looking down there is not a lot of passion into it um maybe there was a chance of new beginning every time we have aces right is the energy of we could have started over we could have um but then it's maybe both of you you went to sleep that's a four of swords right the energy of um you know i'm gonna stay quiet if i stay quiet and if i stay put nothing happens to me nothing bad happens to me right <clears throat> just saying uh, and in some way one got stuck and one got not paying attention so uh, i don't know what happened but it happened and whoever did that feels kind of regretful about that's a five of cups right it's like i'm sorry i did that why in the world you know i was not paying attention and then it got worse um we'll see but um sorry i'm i'm playing a little bit with the um with the camera because i don't want you to see the the uh, the glaze and the light on the cards because the sun is coming up so, so it's going to be a sunny day so um that is that and you know what i do love the overall energy because it speaks of effort it's like somebody is willing to put the effort in this connection pisces this reading so far we have ace of pentacles ace of swords and the ace of wands so screams new beginnings but the energies are not aligned for a new beginning right now because we have stuff to do right um and we have some hurt to heal we have the three of swords as the overall energy that was pain and we need to heal this and then we we're gonna have the clarity of the mind uh, with the ace of swords so and pisces where are we right now well we do have the ten of cups in reverse so life is not a bliss it should be though the energy is here but we are tiptoeing and avoiding disasters we do have the tower and the ten of cups this is the pandemic times of course and we are all going through it and the tower came out like crazy in all the readings so let's not panic there um it's part of the journey and i believe it's also um questions um values of family honestly in your case it shows up with the family card right so maybe that is somehow that is an aha moment that might um you know uh, crossing your mind um this is the energy of questioning what's happiness and what I'm, what makes me happy uh with the tower moment it's like you know evaluating a little bit what we should send out into the air or really holding on to it and building on it um for some of you this might be you know if we are not paying attention we might lose um a family setup you might have children with this person or simply this is you saying well i am not satisfied with the current situation we are stuck we are no longer talking as we're supposed to that is no longer passion sensuality that is no longer playfulness in the bedroom so or on the kitchen table by the way <laughs> you know it's my favorite joke <clears throat> and the one with the <laughs> oh i'm having so much fun and the one with the um 
the underwear on the ceiling lamp, you know, or the uh, light bulb, you know, you throw so passionately and you it goes right, you know, up on the ceiling and stays there and, you know, that is no longer light. <laughs> so much fun. Anyways, I'm just saying, but that is a, you know, we are questioning a little bit the happiness here. What makes me happy? What makes me vibrant again um, and happy? Now we have a problem. Houston, we have a problem. The person you are dealing with, they do have the Seven of Swords and the Ten of Pentacles. So somebody here might be sneaking around. Um, this person of yours, that is, I don't know, a level of deception right now. Or because it's only on their side, they might be lying to themselves about this family. We might have two energies. One that is, I'm completely unhappy and I hate it because I want to be happy. I deserve to be happy. That's a Ten of Cups, right? I'm going to work to make myself happy again. And we have this person probably not telling the truth to themselves. We have the Seven of Swords, Ten of Pentacles. And again, it's about family, legacy, money, and roots. So I believe both of you right now, Pisces, you are concerned about um, a family situation, stability, um, children, money, finances, that kind of energy. Um, just that you come from two different places. And I would say even in the past, the energies are quite like one longing for balance and harmony and one being very proud of whatever it was to be proud of, right? Um, and right now one is really concerned with the happiness while the other person might be concerned with the money or stability or children or something like everyday life and stuff. Oh, the love of God. Pisces, what happened? We do have the Ten of Swords right at the core of the reading. The ultimate betrayal, right? They betrayed you like crazy. They feel betrayed also. And with the Four of Swords, we go from Four of Swords in reverse, um, upright in the past to Four of Swords in reverse right now. So at least we open up communication. I believe there was a discussion. Um, it feels like there was a discussion. It was a discussion on your side um, about happiness and what makes you happy. And also the strategy because we don't want to explode the world that we created. And this person might have opened up about stability and whatever needs to be paid. Or I don't know, Ten of Pentacles, we know it's about money. Family money, that kind of energy. So I feel that was a conversation. I wonder if that was hurtful for both of you. Uh, it does look, honestly, like a very hurtful conversation here that might have um, taken place. Um, now, the point is, I do love the Ace of Swords as the overall energy again, because at least we spoke our truth, right? Pisces, you did, they did. Um, cards were put on the table. That's the energy of the Ace of Swords. And at least we were not dancing about uh, around the subject. That's also another energy. And... You know, emotions with the Five of Cups, I'm sure emotions were expressed in some way and there was that conversation and there was a little bit of effort to make things clear or discuss about. Of course, we, we go to the Six of Pentacles and reverse as the overall energy. We are not in balance, we are not, but at least we, we've um, talked about that, so the energy I'm picking up. And then with the Five of Cups, emotions were expressed actually. Um, that is something about money and um, hidden truth of some sort with this one. Um, Seven of Swords. I don't know who's hiding what, but the other person knows. That's also another energy here. The other person has a... I mean, it's, it, it feels like they are not stupid. You are not stupid. You know what's going on, you know? So um, that is this energy there. So let's see, moving towards... Um, Towards May, we do have the Page of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, the Capricorn, and we do have the Two of Wands. So you do have an offer uh, for this person. You don't want to turn your back on them. Two of Wands is like, yeah, I'll probably walk away, but not that far. I'm still going to be there. And this is the energy of um, being a friend, being um, close, willing to help. This is being practical, being smart about whatever is going on right now. And this person... Okay, they do have the King of Wands and the Knight of Wands in reverse. Might, might be the fire sign you are dealing with, Pisces, and it's um, Aries Leo Sagittarius. Um, somebody matures 
uh, through the process, right? King of Wands is really taking control, being in charge somehow, um, you know, um, leading the situation or leading up to the situation. And we have the Knight of Wands in reverse. Uh, again, this energy of, it's like the passion is no longer there, I would say, and we are mainly doing what's right, avoiding disasters. Um, with the King of Wands is the energy, I'm gonna be the bigger person in this. And again, you come to this connection from two different energies. One is Page of Pentacles, one is King of Wands, right? There is a difference, that is an, that is an imbalance. And, and even in the way we deal with this connection, we deal from a place of imbalance. And um, maybe one maturity, maybe the other one a little bit feeling like a kid, you know, uh, needing to start over. And mutual energies between the two of you we have you upside down and we have the eight of pentacles so may is not the month of effort the first week of may is not the month of effort between the two of you but in the same time i believe each other you work on this new beginning that you want we have overall energies um eight of pentacles the full so it looks like you are both in a situation that is um somehow out of balance but working towards something even if you have to leave behind. And that is this clarity of the mind that you guys have, both of you, I feel. And I'm not seeing two of cups and I'm not seeing three of cups and I'm not seeing ace of cups. So I don't know where the love is, uh, but definitely not here. I'm just saying some food for thought. So I don't know what became so painful for both of you to be right in the middle of the reading here. But that is something that, that is a form of pain and in the same time, it's a 10 of swords that is now 11. So we hit rock bottom and now the only way is up actually. And the way we go up is, I would say satisfactory in a, in a sense, because on your side, you are generous. This is the energy of generosity and being kind to this person. And they show up as, okay, I'm going to be the bigger person in this and, and I'm going to work on my new beginning. You know, it's about time. Um, So let's um, let's ask for some guidance, places. I'm sorry to see that. That is definitely a lot of pain here, and um, maybe not speaking the truth or on their side. So it's kind of um, kind of annoying. So let's see what energies we need to keep going. We have responsibility. You are aware of the power of your thoughts and the amount of love you express. So again, I go back to that communication and breaking the silence. We've been silent in the past. We are speaking now. And maybe our tongue is a little bit of a sword. And if we have to say something, we have to say it right with love. You are really guided. Somebody has to speak their truth, but in a very kind way in a responsible way because words can really hurt people and create trauma. We do have present. You live in the present and are able to bring forth the energy of love in your current circumstance. So with responsibility and living in the present moment, we do not go to the past, right? That's what I'm hearing. And we do have the full, so yeah. And all these aces. And we have elevation, this is amazing. You are making the conscious decision to raise your vibration of love. This is ascension. Oh my God, we are going to four, four and five. Wow. We love this and acceptance. Responsibility, present and acceptance. You are ready to release control of situations or people and lovingly embrace the rhythm of life. I love the trust on the bottom of the deck. I accept that my inner voice will always guide me correctly, your intuition. So let's have um, guardian angel, probably two, and then we say goodbye for now. This one is yours, oh, the tower. You have it twice, um, Pisces. So heaven is showing you a sign that it's time to move in a new direction. Often this is because you're not happy and feel a lack of purpose in your life. This is a wake up call to make changes that match your heart's desires and spiritual strength. Bottom of the deck, you do have the two of wands. Trust in your ability to make excellent choices. So it looks like something will go out and you'll have to make choices for the new world to, to step in. 
that is opportunity all around you if you just continue to move forward. It may be time to take on a new partner who can help you be a success in your career or creative endeavors. Keep your eyes on the big picture rather than the details of the moment. It's interesting, it's out with the old, in with the new, so you need to let go of something. And two of action is actually two of wands and it is about choosing something, a new path. You cannot have more clear message, Pisces. And I, since this morning I've done, I don't know how many readings, so all of them were so clear and in line. The overall energy was always in line with the guidance at the end. It was simply crazy. And it was all about new beginnings. It was all about starting new, trusting the process and starting simply uh, with a clean slate. So, um, Pisces, you know I love you, right? I wish you nothing but the best. As always, please let me know what you think. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe and come see me next time. Love you. Take care.